Hey, how's it going? Moz here at Tactile Hive, and in this video, I want to talk to you about how to safely reholster your firearm and share some considerations whether you're carrying concealed, whether it's appendix, three o'clock, four o'clock, and if you're carrying outside the waistband. We're first going to discuss carrying concealed. I have my firearm here, it's completely dry. I'm gonna send the slide forward. I'm carrying appendix, but what I'm gonna share with you some of the tips, they apply to pretty much any inside the waistband carry position. A lot of people will have accidents and shoot themselves while reholstering. So it's very important to take these tips into consideration. The first thing is that a lot of accidents will happen because of the garment not being completely clear when someone is reholstering. What I mean by that is when it's time to reholster, you do have time to actually look at what you're doing. So make sure that your garment, whether it, you're carrying three o'clock, four o'clock, whatever it is, is completely clear. Right? So it does not get caught up. You don't want your clothing to accidentally get inside the trigger guard where you can accidentally break a shot. So by really looking at what you're doing, clearing your garment completely, taking the time to reholster, that is going to ensure your garment doesn't get in the way and you don't accidentally break a shot because of that. One thing we see a lot in classes is that when reholstering, we see people muzzle themselves as well. So I'm going to, right now again, I'm clear, right? I'm going to do this on purpose so you can see what I mean. Side view, appendix, it'll happen where people will point the muzzle at their body like this. Particularly if they're not really thinking, they're not conscious of what they're doing. It can happen reholstering this way too. It happens very often. And even the best of them, things can slip where they're just not thinking about it and things, you know, they, they muzzle themselves. So it can help to create a ritual, a habit. Every time you're reholstering, do the same exact movements over and over and over again. So you build that habit, kind of like tying your shoelace, you don't even think about it. So you build that habit of reholstering, following a certain process so that you're not muzzling yourself. So what do I mean? Let's add the tip of completely clearing your garment, okay? And one of the, th one of the things you can, the steps you can add to your ritual would be where before you reholster your gun, you touch your holster. You literally physically touch your holster and make sure your muzzle is pointed in a safe direction. Imagine I had a holster here, I clear my garment, I touch the holster with the muzzle pointed away, then I reholster. If you make that a habit, part of your process, you're going to really decrease the chance of muzzling yourself. So after I'm engaging, I'm dry right here, engage, 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 I clear my garment, I'm looking down, I make sure it's clear, I touch my holster, muzzle in safe direction, then reholster. I'm looking at the entire process. Once again, if it was here, I'm shooting, maybe I'm in three o'clock, carrying three o'clock, I touch my holster, muzzle is in safe direction, clear my garment, I'm looking the entire time, and I reholster, okay? So those are two tips that you can add when reholstering, whether it doesn't matter which position you're carrying, make sure you're clearing the garment completely, look at what you're doing, touch your holster, pointing the direction, pointing the muzzle in a safe direction, then see it all the way into the holster. Make sure there's no obstructions in your holster so, act, so you don't accidentally shoot yourself. I have my outside the waistband rig right now, so let's discuss if you're reholstering after you've engaged targets, engaged a threat, and now it's time to put your gun away. So here, it's much easier, right? Because you don't have to worry about a garment. But what you really need to pay attention to is if your clothing has become loose or, you know, it just all of a sudden now it's spilling into your holster. So it's still a good idea to look at what you're doing. So after you've engaged your targets, look down here to make sure nothing is in the holster. It's clear of any obstructions and then see it through all the way and make sure it clicks or whatever type of holster makes sure it locks in. So it's really simple. Engage your targets, look at your holster, make sure it's clear, and then put your gun inside. It's important to note, similar to what I discussed with the concealed carry reholstering, there are going to be some shooters, particularly beginners, who are going to flag themselves. So remember, when I'm doing this here, I don't want to, when I'm bringing my gun back, I don't want to pretend I had my outside the waistband holster over here at you know, four o'clock, five o'clock, something like that. I don't want to, I'm going to do this on purpose. I'm completely dry here. I just want to show you the incorrect way of doing this, where let's say I have an outside the waistband holster, someone does this and they're pointing at themselves. Or even at three o'clock, maybe someone does this, they're shooting and then they do this. See how I'm pointing at myself right here? I don't want to do this. So be conscious of that. Make sure that muzzle is straight down 
and then see it through into the holster. You can, if you want to, do the same exact thing. This could be part of your process if you want to, all right? Um, typically, you don't see this a lot with people who are doing outside the waistband, but who knows? If you, if you feel this is what you want to, part of your ritual, and you want to touch your holster, go for it, okay? The vast majority of the time, when you're reholstering, you don't need to worry about speed because if this was a real life engagement, typically, you know, there's going to be no threats and that's when you're going to be reholstering because you don't need to engage anymore, right? Now, there are, there are some people who will argue there are some cases where you may want to reholster quickly, but we're not going to even dive into that because the vast majority of situation scenarios, you don't need to reholster quickly, okay? So those are some tips to consider when you're reholstering your gun so that you can do it safely and you don't hurt yourself. Now this assumes you know the other safety rule that is extremely important when you're done shooting. And that is to make sure your finger is off the trigger. You are not going to, you don't want to holster with your finger in the trigger where you can accidentally shoot yourself. Okay. And we've already talked about the other safety rule, which is know where your muzzle is pointing. And we kind of already addressed that by making sure we have a touch point here when we are reholstering from a concealed carry position. And like I said, even the outside weight span, if you want to add that to your process, you can. The whole idea here is find a system or process so that you can ingrate into your subconscious so that you can reholster your firearm safely and you don't get hurt. As always, if you like the content, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.